Your Honor, I am uh, I'm very thankful for this opportunity to stand here. And uh, I've dreaded this moment for a long time, but I've also longed for it. Um, I've longed for the opportunity to say the things that, I, that I've wanted to say for a while and uh, haven't been able to. Um, to the victims and to their families, I want you to know how sorry I am for the things that I've done. And I, and I would uh, I would gladly trade my life if I could take back the things that I that I've done and the pain that I've caused, and the devastation. Um, I lay in bed I lay in bed at night and I just I run through your faces, and I think about the hurt that I've caused in your lives, and I and I ache. I know that you feel betrayed and angry, and hurt and. And there's probably also a good deal of hatred, and, and I understand all of that. And I accept all of that. I'm so sorry for the way that I failed you. I've, I've failed you in a lot of ways. Um, I know that the Bible says that the prayers of a righteous man availeth much, and I'm not a righteous man, but I'm, but I'm committed to praying for your healing. And continue to pray that God would redeem your lives and would restore you out of the wickedness that I that that has come from me and has spilled onto you. And uh, and I'm going to be committed every day of my life to be praying for you. To the other families that that were not victims, but I was still put in a place of spiritual leadership over you. I, I know that I failed you too. And I am so sorry. I was supposed to model Christ, and I didn't. Instead, I know that I've made him look bad. And I, too, am committed to praying for you. I, I offer you the deepest apologies and beg for your forgiveness. And I, I pray that God can fix even the mess that I've made in your lives. To, uh, to the Canacuck leadership and staff. Um, I think that in a pretty dark world, Canacuck is a lighthouse. I think it's one of the best things that's in this country. Um, I've seen God work there like I've never seen him work anywhere else. And uh, I know that I've done a lot to taint that light and to dim it. I am so sorry. I beg, I beg uh, families not to cast their blame towards camp. Um, none of this is their fault. If they would have asked me, I would have lied. My heart wasn't ready. And, uh, and I believe in that ministry. And I pray that your words and your actions would not go against them in any way. I, I think every word spoken against camp is a word that that prevents the furthering of the gospel. And I think action taken against camp is action taken against the furthering of the gospel. Um, I imagine that, that I'm the worst thing that's ever happened to Canacuck, but I know that God is there and, and that God can, can restore and redeem that place from the damage that I've caused. Um, I want to... Uh, Say I'm sorry to my wife and my daughter and my family. I'm sorry for my unfaithfulness. I'm sorry for my sin. I grieve the uh, the lost memories and the the moments that that I dreamed of experiencing with you. I grieve that they're lost. And I thank you for the support. You've been unbelievable. I've got the best family. Um, and I love you guys a ton. Your Honor, as, as a representative of Tina County, I apologize to you and to this community. And uh, I know that the community is reeling and they're hurting, and, and, um, and it's my sin that has caused that. And, and, and I, too, want justice for them. And, and, uh, and I think I need to go to prison. I don't, um, 
so I apologize. Um, my uh, my life used to be on a road, and it was a road where I had my dream job and my dream family and my dream house, and got a lot of accolades and a lot of praise. But I had hidden sin that has really been there since I was about twelve, and uh, and now my life is on a road of, you know not with my family and in jail and lost the house and lost all that other stuff. Uh, but on this road, my sin is uncovered and I think this is the road that leads to healing for me. And, and I'm at a place where I can say between the two roads, I'd take this one. I'd take the road of healing. I want to be whole more than I want to be with my family and more than I want to get out of this. I want to be healed. And uh, and I believe that the, that the gospel, I know I'm, I'm the last person who has the right to talk about the gospel, but I think it's for people like me. I think if the gospel can't say people like me, we're all in a lot of trouble. And, uh, and so if it's for me, I know that he can restore families and young men, and he can restore broken hearts and ruined lives. I just believe that. And I want you to know that I hate my sin. I just hate it. And uh, I pray every day that God would change me. And I think he can, I don't, regardless of what psychologists say. And I didn't understand half of what they said anyway, but I believe that, that he can transform lives by the renewing of minds. And I pray that he would renew my mind and transform my heart and make me different. Uh, I have this thought that, that maybe one day I would be as well known for my repentance, my repentance as I am for my sin. And so I'm committed to the words I'm sorry being the most often words spoken out of my mouth. And doing whatever it takes to bring healing in my life and healing in others' lives. Um, and, and I do think, I think if I were you and I were sitting out there, I'd probably be thinking things like, well, we trusted you before. Why should we trust you now? Why should we trust the things that you have to say? And I don't have an answer for that. Other than today, I'm going to try to do things right. And, uh, and tomorrow, I'm going to try to do it right. I'm tired of doing it wrong. So, again, my, my most sincere apologies. I ask for your forgiveness. I don't expect it, but I ask for it. And, uh, and I trust you and, and your decision. So thanks again for the chance to say something. It means a lot. Anything else? No, Your Honor.